I'm Gary Handelman from University of Massachusetts at Lowell, and I'm here with my colleague Bill Surover, Cooper Medical School, Rowan University. We're here to speak about vitamin C and anemia and erythropoiesis. Anemia affects most patients with end-stage renal disease. It's a cause of significant morbidity, and it's associated with increased mortality. Exogenous ESAs are used to treat anemia, but the use of some of these agents is associated with increased cardiovascular events, and ESA costs are problematic as well. Iron is also used to treat anemia, but there are concerns over iron overload side effects, such as infection. Given the above issues with ESA use and iron use, focus on other strategies to improve anemia is warranted. Our research team focused on the role of ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid improves iron utilization by releasing iron from particular endothelial stores and by facilitating iron incorporation into protoporphyrin. We hypothesize that plasma vitamin C is associated with a decrease in EPO resistance. We studied a cohort of hemodialysis patients and measured plasma ascorbic acid levels and recorded associated anemia parameters. We found that over the physiologic ascorbic acid plasma range, the ascorbic acid level is directly associated with transferrin saturation and negatively associated with EPO resistance. One of the concerns of supplemental ascorbic acid use is oxalosis. We measured oxalate plasma levels in this cohort and will report the results separately. More definitive studies on the potential benefits of supplemental ascorbic acid use are needed. With this cohort, we'll provide the foundation for this future work. We are grateful for the participations of the patients in this study. Thank you for the opportunity to discuss this work.